Hello and welcome to Indie Nexus, the show that completely forgot its joke for today. I am your host Chris, aka Silverath, and today we are hopefully finishing the Charnel House trilogy. Now it is three o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. It's hot as hell in this room. Let's just play. Like I said, I want to get through this, the rest of this game, if possible. So let's talk to Lydia. See what Lydia has to say. Hey, how are you doing, kiddo? I'm, I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Mom? <laughs> hey, call me Alex. I'm not old yet. <laughs> True. What are you four, five, seven? I'm eight, actually. Or eight, oh, whatever. Well, we're almost the same age then. You must be a big girl traveling alone this late at night. Yep. I'm going to see my daddy. There's one of those Your giant bags behind Alex. What a silly Nipple bomb set. That's a funny no, name. No, he doesn't live there. Well, okay. Is that where your daddy lives? Character actually, development? Actually, I... Actually, I lost my father. Tonight. Is that why you look what? so sad? I... What? 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 No, what? 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 He'd been suffering. Since when? It was better this way. I said my when did this father. happen? Grown-ups are weird. We've never mentioned her father. Not once. Let's not talk about that. And now he's... What do you want to talk about? Ah! I don't want to talk to you. Let's talk about Lydia. Tell me about yourself. You travel alone a lot? Uh-uh. First time. I used to hate traveling alone. Hate it. I love it now. Weird, huh? Traveling alone is like nice. It? Uh, it's nothing a kid needs to hear. Just... Lonely Creepy things. old men. Are you not lonely anymore? No, I'm super lonely. I'm just at peace with that. Grown ups. Weird. So, hey, uh, you read comics? Yeah. I still love the music coming oh. from the music box. It's I so I do. calming. I love comics. I used to want to draw comics. Me and my friend Kat were going to make one. Why didn't you? Life got in the way. You know how it is. Actually, you're a kid. You probably don't. Hey, I know a lot of things. I'm sure you Are do. you the one that was shoved in the bag at the beginning? I used to do ballet, you know. Really? You don't look like a ballerina. Uh, -huh, well, thanks, I guess. I hate ballet. I, I hate ballet. And why are you still doing better. it? Because her parents? pretty good to me. No, I don't. I hate it. Why do you keep doing it then? Just what I want to know. My daddy wants me to. There you go. He says it's a good way to meet other girls my age. Oh man, that takes me back. That's exactly why my dad pushed me into it too. Didn't work though. Wow, the pace this game like grinded to a halt. I was either a better dancer than them, which made them jealous, or a worse dancer than them. I'm gonna start skipping some of these uh, dialogue. In the end, I got thrown into these paragraphs of dialogue. The huge mirrors. Because. <laughs> I, I want to get through that. this. Don't go getting ideas. Yeah, I don't crazy. think this I'm whole exchange is necessary to the story. I like your necklace. That came out of nowhere. My boyfriend bought it for me. You have a boyfriend. Gross. Yeah, actually, he's my ex-boyfriend. Why do we have a necklace then? This your is irritating. Are totally gross. Yeah, I probably thought the same at your age. Skipping. What was your boyfriend's name? Gavin. Gavin Catrelli. Skipping again. He's a, He's a silly man. What's your name, by the way? Lydia. Lydia. Well, great to meet you, Lydia. <gasps> this is and where Lydia goes. This is where Lydia came from before she went to Whiterun. Come back and see me later. I won't, because you're a boring character. I shouldn't mess. Open the bag! I'm going to run to her bag right in front of her. Nobody will go through the giant bags. Let's get the hell out of here. She's a boring character. This place is putting me to sleep. Maybe I should go see Dawn. Ask if Lang's awake yet. Dawn. Dawn. Walk faster. Dawn. Dawn. The story says I have to come talk to you. Stop that.
<laughs> moonwalk. I can make it do the moonwalk. Dawn! Oh, hey, half moonwalk. You didn't miss. I didn't Any miss. sign of our doctor friend? Well, I tried to wake him, but he was out cold. He's not he's out cold, he's dead. I could go get some cold water if that had helped. I mean, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Can you imagine? I'm imagining it now. And trust me, it's tempting. That would be very fun. Anyway, Don, I wanted to ask you a question. Well, ask away. But first, I have one on my own. Shoot. You called me by name just then. Why? Uh, isn't that what people do? Generally. I never told you my name, Missy. Pretty sure you did. Reckon I didn't. Anyway, I think he did. It's no and I also think we've taught we've called him by name at least know. one other time before. Maybe a little bug told you. How strange. I I'm forget. sure you must have mentioned it. Anyway, I wanted to ask about that picture in the corridor. I noticed it as I went past. You mean the one of old Gloria? Gloria. No, the other one. The portrait. The oh, that thing. one. Okay. Oh, I. Huh. Yep. Who was she? I couldn't help but notice the similarities. To who? Me. Don't say you can't see it. I haven't examined the painting oh, enough to actually notice. It. it does bear a striking resemblance to you. Then again, you all look the same to me after I've had a drop of whiskey. <laughs> who was she? Is that all females or all humans? Maybe she's someone's daughter. Well, yeah, I imagine she was. Most women are a daughter at some point. Aye. You're a daughter, I imagine. Well, yeah. Grew up around your dad, did you? Uh, We're referencing the father, my father right now? a whole hell of a lot now. Passed away very recently. Oh, aye. Sorry, lass. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, it's okay. I knew it was time. He was my stepfather, but I loved him like a dad. He loved me like a daughter, too. At least up until he stopped recognizing me. Oh. What about your mom? Are you and her still close? Still? There's a lot of dialogue in this section. This is really dull, to be honest. You assumed wrong. I want to keep skipping because. Uh, no, that's not true, now, lassie. It is, there's yeah, character development, but there's no plot advancement. And I would like to get through this episode. Hang on. You don't know anything about her. Or me, for that matter. Look, I'm sorry, this conversation's creeping me out. This whole okay? game creeps me out, oh, girl. Alright. Uh, right. What? It's dark. Ah, balls. There we go. Into the tunnel. No idea why old Gloria craps out. Why'd my inventory open? Damn time here. Settle down. We're in this for the long haul. What? Uh, how long till the lights come back on? Huge tunnel. Gonna be a good fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes? How long is this tunnel? You got a candle. With I have something you can light it with. Here you go, good sir. Here, my inventory conveniently opened in the middle of the conversation. Good work, lass. Must have given my matches to that funny fella in 2B. He likes to play with fire, so he does. Don't give oh, matches to people who like to play with unfair. fire. It's alright. I told him to be on his best behavior. Be on your so best behavior, you psych psychopathic arsonist. This is a passenger train. Is it? Yes. <gasps> Whoa! Where'd he go? What? Where the hell did he go? What? Something's not right about him. Something's not right about this place. Fuck it. I'm going to knock on Lang's door. How about we not? Can I play with the control panel again? I better not tamper with the machine. Wait, can I? <gasps> That's a puppy. Um, engine room door. That's the there. first time Besides, that I've been able to interact with that door. Alright, so let's take a look. Okay, so no I one knows... Disturb random people. We don't know who's in 1A. 1B is Lang. Let's go talk to Lang. I know he's dead, though. He committed suicide, brah. No response. Okay. It's locked. Fuck it. I should go see if Lydia's okay. Better idea. You see this right here? This is called a fire extinguisher. You know what a fire extinguisher is? It's heavy. Nothing's burning just now. Who cares if it's burning? Break the door down. Nah. Ah. The safety of my own cabin. Maybe we should stay in there! 
instead of wander randomly wandering around this damn train. All right. Lydia was in 2C, yes? Okay. Oh, look, the lights came back on. I just realized. That was a fast locked. 15 minutes. It's locked. Uh, Lydia? You in there? Lydia? Shit. Fire extinguisher! Fire extinguisher! Break down door! Grab fire extinguisher! Yeah. Break down door! Why is nobody breaking the fire door? Or use the fire so, extinguisher to break down door? Yeah. No. Whatever. I'll ask Floyd for a key. Who the hell are you? Uh, Rob? Rob? Alex! Hey, you! You came! Why are you here? What? You never called. Why didn't you call, Alex? Why are you here, uh, Rob? It's the middle of the night. Wait, what the fuck? Did you follow me here? Why are you on the goddamn train? Why is he here? Alex, come on. I've always been there. No, no, no. No, 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 no. When your dad died? Stop when bringing up your dad. It was never brought up before. Oh, and it should be not be so focused that. on right now. Exactly. So why wouldn't I be here now? Because you shouldn't you're, be here. You're right. Don't okay, accept okay. this. Pretty sure I've passed out and I'm dreaming this. No. Whatever. I'll run with it. Why do I need you right now? Yeah. Is he a ghost? The sepulchre thunders towards its destination. That's the word from the second chapter. Worms burrowing through the soil. From the skies, the predator swoops. Zap. Swooping is bad. You're a psychopath. A scream pierces the night. Rob, you're scaring me. This is all scaring me. I was bored at the beginning of this playthrough. Caught up in the moment. I should go back to my compartment. Come and find me there when you're done with the girl. Lydia, done with the what? I never told you about her. Slice the girl away, Alex. Look at her insides. Put her belly. No! The fuck? What the fuck is going on here? This is some fucked up, trippy nightmare shit. There's something on the table. I don't give a shit. What is going on? I was so bored at the beginning of this playthrough. It was so. D and it just. We jumped on a crazy train, man! What is going on? Where the hell did Rob come from? Where did Dawn go? Dawn's a ghost! Why do we need a steak knife? Floyd, I need a drink. I, I, I need a drink. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. Let's go. Let's go last. Let's go find something. I don't know where the hell Rob came from, but he should go back to wherever he came from. Cause this ain't cool. Back to 2C. We're gonna try and, uh,. Jimmy the lock. Huh. It's locked. I can't hear her crying anymore. Oh god! Nah. Not bad. Grub killed her! Nah. 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 Nothing's burning just now. <sighs> Forget it. What can I possibly do? I'm not gonna have to kill her, am I? They sound busy. Probably a good idea. Let's keep going. Yeah, you better stay gone, Dawn. I'm looking for like 10 minutes. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Look, I can't combine anything in my inventory. I could kill for a sick. I could kill my. I can't do anything. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. My train ticket. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I'm so confused. Wait a minute. They referenced this painting a little while ago. I have no reason to be pulling apart paintings. Besides, I can't do it with my bare hands. It's attached to the wall. Wait! Burn it! Don't nap me, 
find. Do the stink knife then. There's something here. Weird. What? How was I supposed to know about that? Two A. That's like literally right next door here, isn't it? How was I supposed to know about that? They sound. Oh, shut up and just open the damn door. Whoa, hey. what? Hey, Alex. Hey, birthday girl. Who the hell are you? Uh, uh Sophia? Don't oh, introduce characters Jesus. to Sophia, me in chapter three. Why are you here? Hey, you invited us, silly. Already drunk, I see. I've only had one Bloody Mary. Gavin was looking for you. Fuck oh, Gavin. God, what? Gavin's here? Sure. Why wouldn't he be? Pretty sure I saw you with your hands down his pants earlier, so you know. I'm surprised you've forgotten. Oh, crazy. Your voice is too. terrible! Fuck this! Gavin is not here! You're not here! None of this is here! None of this is real! I'm on a fucking What's going train, on? For God's sake. Whoa, Alex. Chill. Who the hell are you? Are you something? I say it, don't worry about it. Alex is just being her weird hysterical self. Fuck off, Carly. You don't need to be rude to Alex on her birthday. She's being rude to us! She's just stressed, aren't you, babe? Yes! I'm stressed! What is going I'm on? <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore! It's too early in the morning for this shit! Oops, I skipped something. Alone. I I can't leave, really. Carly's a bit drunk and you know how she gets. You know what? No, I really don't know how she I gets because I don't know anything about what's going on right now. Here, Alex. You can say it. Okay, okay, look. Where are we? Your apartment, dickhead. Where else? No, we're on a train. Okay, fuck it. I'm asleep, obviously. You need to suspend your disbelief, Al. This will all go smoother if you just kick back and accept it. I ain't kicking back and accepting shit. Why don't you go find him? Why don't you go fuck yourself? Months ago, I don't want to see him. Alex, honey, what are you talking about? We broke up on on my birthday. It's your birthday today. The big twenty-five, or is it twenty-six? Twenty-seven. Definitely. Look at her. She's no spring chicken. You need to go She's somewhere else, girl. Ones. You are just irritating. Hit, snort a line, shoot up, go out in a blaze of fucking glory? Why don't go you go jump out the window, yeah, alright? Yeah. You got any blow? Nah, not for you. Clean and sober, remember? Well, as close as can be. <sighs> Carly, what is going on? are you talking about? Why are all these oh, people here? You know what, Alex? You think you're so much better than us? Always have. Just because you've gone through some shit? Just because you had, I don't know, struggles? That's enough, Carly. Carly, why the fuck are you even here? Why did you even come? You clearly don't want to see me. You know what, Alex? I came for Gavin. For fucking Gavin. And you know... Carly, shut the fuck up. Ignore her, Alex. She's drunk. No. You know what? The last time this played out, I never no, got to no, see my no. fucking people. Do not play along with this kind I'm of crap. Done taking shit this is out. some illusion or some fucked up nightmare. Do not play I'm along with chill. this crap. You're I'm just I'm asking for this thing really to eat your brain or something. Shit-heel douche canoe behavior won't bring me the fuck down on Douche canoe? Not what? Again. Whoa. Okay, ladies. I'm gonna go head over here now. Can I go over there and stand with Mr. Isaiah? Don't change the music. This is not appropriate for this. Tell me how it is. Tell me how you really, really feel. feel. It's been five years and you're still not over Gavin. We haven't even seen oh, Gavin Carly, yet. Move on. Open your eyes. Jesus Christ. I'm almost out of time. The entire episode's been dialogue. Hey, fuck you, Alex. Alex? Seriously, walk away. I'll talk to Carly. Just come back later. Fuck you both. Fuck you. Hey, listen, I'll talk to Carly. I'll get her to leave. 
It's your party. I don't want this party. But could you do me a favor? Fine. Sure. Whatever. Put this somewhere safe. It keeps falling out of my purse. What did you just give me? <gasps> the inhaler from the beginning! I remember. Can I have that balloon? Sure. Why not? Yes! What is going on? Isaiah likes being in charge of the music. I'll leave it to him. Don't enable your... Whatever. Leave. I'm gonna leave. It's dark again. Huh? Now it's not. The music stopped. The door opened. I don't want to go back in. What the fuck? Where'd everybody go? What the hell is going on? Wait, these are all big back. They're all dead. Ah! Oh, Carly killed everybody! I won't go rooting through someone's luggage without good reason. Renegade option. Give me a renegade option to go through the... A party hat! Fuck it. Why not? Hell yeah! Look at that. We're actually a party going... What's going on?! I won't... Open I one won't... of the bags! Please! I want to know what's in them! Huh? That sounds like my old ringtone. I think it's coming from the other carriage. <laughs> What's going on? I'm gonna. I'm going insane. Someone answer that bloody phone. That's driving me a distraction over here. Sorry, sorry. No, not you. You aren't even real. Why don't you just go and shove this up your ass? Because you're not even real. I think the ringing's coming from in here. It better be coming from in there. It's your room, your phone. Yeah, walk away, Don. Could you answer it? It's oh really God. irritating. Weeks ago, and it's ringing. Please just answer it. Thank you. Hello? Hello, little porcelain girl. Oh, fuck off. Not now. Don't you dare hang up. Don't you fucking dare. I can see you right now, you know. I doubt that. I'm on... A train. Cabin 1C. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What's going How on? are you here? Always watching you, little porcelain girl. I got a sword. Don't fuck with me. I am going to find you, and I am going to cut your cock off and shove it down your throat, you disgusting excuse for a human being. I am going to make you watch in the mirror as you choke on your own dick. And then I'll slice your fucking throat if you ever, ever call me again. Ever. I will find out who you are, and you will die. Well, okay then. That is the best response ever. I'm about to invite you over to my compartment. <laughs> yeah, party going no to no party a with a you. <sighs> no. This guy, this fucking guy. Not you. Damn me. Out. Get out. I'm sorry, lass. I should have known. You're not real. It's fine. Get out. I'm out of time. Get out. Yeah, held you through the door. Houston's calls, is it? Yeah. Dude's been calling me for the past few months. Pretty sure my ex put him up to it. It's been happening since we broke up. <laughs> it's just got uh, so trippy, man. Surely would do a thing like that. Well, I don't know. It makes no sense. Gavin wasn't... isn't like that, I thought. And he denies it. But it's too much of a coincidence, right? I, Maybe. Could be anyone though, really. Old Don believes in coincidence. Old Old Don ain't even real, he's so well away and safe on old Claudia, eh? Yeah. No, he said he's here. He said he's on the fucking train. Well, that can't be. Unless your boy's a big English fella with a stick up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not lame. How do you know? Well then. 
I mean, I suppose it could be Lydia. I doubt it what severely. What did you just see? Oh, I was... Tell me Lydia is a ghost, too. I think my harasser is an eight-year-old girl. You've seen young Lydia tonight. Yeah. Why are you so Why interested? Why wasn't I meant to disturb her? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just, uh, I'll look out for her, you know? Where did you see her? In Why do you want to know? In her compartment. Oh. Well, right you are, then. I should just go and check on her. See if she needs anything. Wait. The guy told me to meet him in 1A. Well, there's no one in 1A. I think I'd have noticed. Well, bye. Don't just, well, buy me. Jesus. Okay, Alex, don't lose it at this juncture. Nothing unexpected is happening. You know what to do. Roll with it. See it through. It's okay. Maybe it's a little more intense than you were expecting. A little more real. But you can do this. It'll be worth it. Nothing comes for free. I guess I should head to 1A. No point putting it off. I'm sorry, am I missing something? Why are we going to 1A? I've been sitting down long enough. No, nice? you really haven't. It's broken. I'll li Litterer. No, 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 no. No more. I'm out of time, but I'm going to keep going. I'm finishing this tonight. I'm going to keep going in the next episode, which I'm going to record right now. It's like quarter after 3, 3.20 in the morning. I don't care. I'm finishing this video tonight. I'm finishing this whole trilogy tonight. I don't care. This is just gone way loopy. I want to see where this goes. I don't even know what's going on anymore, but I'm going to keep going. So, do you know of any game that you think might be good, but you don't want to buy it because you think it might be crap? Then let me buy it for you. Leave a comment in the comments below about any game that you think any game you'd like to see me play, and I will play it for you guys. This has been Chris, a.k.a. Silver Wrath, and I will see you next time here on Indie Nexus.